Hey there, Sam Wendell here. In this video I'm going to show you some of the key features of Mirage. Mirage is Frozen Plane's sample-based synthesis engine. It's a VST and AU plugin that powers many of our new sample libraries. Let's start with a new instance of the plugin. This first screen shows all of the Mirage libraries that you currently have installed. Clicking on one makes it the active library, and you'll be able to access all of the instruments contained within that library. Let's now go over the general layout of Mirage. There are two main sections, Layers and the Effects Rack. The layers consist of three identical sound generating channels. Each layer is independent from each other, but the effects are applied to the mix of the three. At the top of each layer is a menu where you can select which instrument is loaded. An instrument is roughly equivalent to an oscillator that you might find in a waveform synthesizer. However, Mirage instruments are sample based, sometimes consisting of hundreds of samples, or sometimes just one. As well as clicking on the menu, you can navigate instruments using the arrow buttons, or the randomize button. Moving down the layer, you will find controls for setting the layer's volume, tune, and pan. Further down still, there are five tabs that feature many more controls for shaping the sound of the layer. The first tab is the main tab. There are three types of controls here. Playback settings, looping settings, and the volume envelope. For altering the playback, you can reverse the instrument samples, and you can alter the start point of the samples. It's worth noting here that some instruments are multi-sampled, so in that case the waveform you see on the screen here will just be an approximation. Loop controls are also on this tab. The loop is turned on using this menu. The options in this menu may vary depending on the type of instrument you have. If the loop is activated, you can edit the start and end points of the loop, and the crossfade length. The crossfade allows for the loop end to be blended with the loop start to make a smoother transition. Finally on the main tab is the volume envelope. This is a standard ADSR, just like you've probably seen on other synths. Click and drag the handles to change the fade in, decay and sustain, and the fade out. The next tab is the filter tab. Here you can shape the sound using filter types such as low pass, high pass, band pass, and more. The filter cutoff can be set to change over time using the ADSR, and setting the intensity with the envelope knob. Next is the LFO. Here you will find a single low frequency oscillator that can modulate the volume, filter, pan or pitch, with the shape, intensity and speed of your choosing. Further on is the two-band EQ. Using these controls you can shape the frequency spectrum of the sound to your liking. The final tab is the MIDI tab. The controls here are slightly more advanced, so for brevity I'll just cover the two most commonly used controls. However, as with all controls in Mirage, if you hover your cursor over it for a moment, a tooltip will show explaining what the control does. The key track button on this tab is useful for non-tonal sounds such as textural noise. It disables the pitch from changing to match the note you are playing, meaning any note you play will be the same pitch. The other commonly used control on the MIDI tab is the monophonic switch. When enabled, only one voice will be allowed at a time, allowing for a legato-like playing style. Let's now look at the effects rack. The effects are applied to the mix of the three layers. They are applied in the same order that you can see from top to bottom. However, you can reorder the effects by clicking and dragging the buttons, or the labels. These ten effects can greatly transform the sound into something quite different. The convolution reverb effect in particular is great for sound design. The included impulse responses are unusual, and excellent for blurring the sound in weird ways. Finally, let's take a look at the preset browser in Mirage. The preset browser allows you to navigate presets from all libraries that you have installed. The file path of your preset folder is shown at the top, and you can open that folder up and reorganize the files in there in any way you like. The left panel of the browser shows the folders. Clicking on these filters the presets on the right panel to show only that selected folder and its subfolders. Presets can also be filtered by a search term. You might try typing in library names or types of sound such as pad or atmosphere. 
You can navigate through the presets using the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can also click on them, or double click on them, to load the preset and close the browser at once. Presets can also be loaded randomly by clicking this button at the top. The type of randomization can be selected from the adjacent arrow button so that you can limit the amount of chaos to your preference. Alright, I hope this video gives you a good idea of Mirage's features and helps you get started making your own presets. See you in the next one.